everyone knows the most haunted hotel in Nevada. The Mitzpah Hotel. The Mizpah. The Mizpah. The Mizpah. The Mizpah Hotel. But what about its overlooked older sister that sits directly across the street? Is there a tunnel that goes from the Mizpah yes. through yes. to the Belvada? Yes. The basement is a little dark, it's scary. It said big and then it said enemy and then it said malicious. Entity present. Do you know of any darker presences down here? <laughs> it's not as strong. I don't think it liked you saying that. It burns, it burns, it burns. There's three. I want one. <gasps> Welcome back to Ghost Club Paranormal. Tonight we are in Tonopah, Nevada, and dare I say it's Reason so here. cold. If you're a regular viewer of this channel, then you've probably seen us here before. We've investigated the Mizpah Hotel and also the Klein Motel. But surprisingly, there's actually one hotel here that is completely overlooked in the paranormal community, and that is the Belvada Hotel. That's where we're going to be staying tonight. We're going to have a very familiar face come in, and she is going to tell us a few stories about what's been haunting this place. So I'm really excited. Again, there's nothing that you can actually really find online about this so we are coming in this completely clueless yeah. and we have no idea who or what is here all we know is that this place used to be a bank that's literally that's it, it. <laughs> so you guys are also going to be figuring this place out with us this place out with us so you guys are <laughs> let's just go. I'm like, I'm over this. No, she's over there. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Not only is it cold, but it's windy. That hurt. And it's very staggy around here yeah, today. It's so okay, are you picking up on anything about this building so far? <sighs> yeah, um, I keep like I keep hearing second floor. Oh, types up. <laughs> you gotta be quicker. <laughs> you gotta be quicker. <laughs> No, okay, so second floor. Yeah, I was weird. I kept hearing second floor, second floor. Okay, well, we're on the fourth floor. Yeah. And there's apparently nobody. Nobody on the Sorry. second floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's cool. We can film that over here. Yeah. Why is nothing going right? <laughs> <laughs> Literally nothing is going right for us. So second floor. <laughs> yeah, um... I keep hearing second floor right off the bat. I don't know who's telling me second floor, but somebody's just like second floor, second floor, second floor. So I'm curious to go there and check it out and see what kind of activity is happening okay. and who's there. Let's go to the second floor. I think I'm gonna put the Seer app on as we're walking through. Okay. Hairy man? Yeti? Okay, so we're on level two. Oh. That's weird. Just said beach and then happiness and then grandpa. My grandpa, we went, we went to Pismo every year, Pismo Beach. Huh, weird. Our protectors have been coming through a lot, yeah. even before we started filming. 
So, yeah. I don't know. Dude. I don't know. What does this just said, dude? Look, look. We're just talking about like the beach and stuff. Yeah. That's waves and like a boat. What? And then that just said Papa, which I, that's literally how I spell my Papa's name, P-O-P-P-A. <gasps> Dude, I have the, the f chills. The K2 literally just lit up the second you said it. Papa. I'm not even like ready. I got I'm not even you, ready. You did say that you felt like something was calling you the second floor. So yeah, and I don't really it. know why yet. Yeah, why the second floor? That's weird. Okay, so family members are coming in hot. It always kind of worries me when like family members come through, especially that fast. Because that usually yeah. means that there's something a little bit more, you know. Yeah. They know. Yeah. <laughs> we talk about it a lot, but I mean, it's a good sign and it's a bad sign. Yeah. Oh, I just felt like somebody like passed literally by me. What direction? Like going this way. Okay. Yeah. What the f Did you just get touched? Dude, yeah. Like that hurt, like some, like like, pinch, like a pinch. Can you say you're sorry to Mandy? That really hurt her. I'm picking up, there's a very strong male that like hangs out here. He worked here. I know that this is kind of a lot, but already what we're picking up on the, or what Mandy's picking up, sorry, on the second floor is um, our actual protectors coming in first off, and then also a man. We've got a couple of devices on the floor here. Can you please go ahead and light one of those up for us? to wait until they're done. Yeah, there's a lot of like, mm -hmm. I'm getting hit with like so many different things and I don't really know like what's relevant or not. I'm gonna do my best to narrow it down to like, I think I hear you. Where the story is. <laughs> I was literally just about to say our tour guide <laughs> is here. Hi. 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 Good to see you both. Good to see you. And the fact weird. that it was found literally yesterday the day that we're supposed to be here. <laughs> yeah. Like, what are the fucking odds of that. I know. I haven't yeah. like explained that or anything like that, yeah, but yeah. basically yeah. a long story short, when we were at the Mizpah last time, uh, during the Delco experiment, the Polaroid that Mandy took of me, I ended up taping it to the <laughs> underneath the side table. And I was gonna keep it in the episode so people could go and find it as like a little like kind of Easter egg. Yeah. And I just totally left it out the episode. It wasn't until we came to check in to this hotel, the woman behind the desk was like, did you by any chance take a picture of yourself and, and <laughs> stick it underneath a side table? And I was like, how do you know? Because I didn't even put that on social media. And she was like, well, I can tell, like it's a picture of you. <laughs> I went out. Oh, with red goggles yeah, sitting first, on the bed. Yeah. She just found that yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, and we've not been here for two and a half months. <laughs> and I'm like, what are the odds? Like the day before yeah. we come so back. Many synchronicities coming back here. Yeah. So all meant to be. It was exactly. it's almost like spirits like, I know you're coming back. Yeah. And it's <laughs> almost like it was all designed to go this way. That's more than just Coincidence. You may also recognize Heather from the Goldfield Hotel episode that we done as well. Yeah, we'll so. be back there again. Yeah, nice. it's actually really cute. This is Mandy's bed over here. And this is my bed over here. All right, before we head down to the basement, Mandy, what were you picking up on on the second floor? And also if you could kind of like back any of that up. Okay. That would be awesome. I was picking up on uh, spirits from coming here from the Mizpah. Mm -hmm. um, I also was picking up on a man. He's a very strong personality, very strong presence. He just kind of follows around. Um, do you know of any male spirits? Do you know? Could you tell what he was wearing? Um, he was... Oh. <laughs> I no, don't know why I was trying to answer for you. you. No. Yeah. Were you... <laughs> 
What were you getting? No, no I, I was getting the picture um, that came through the Seer app. Remember the hairy oh. man? It looked like oh. he was wearing a hairy suit. <laughs> But then I realized that's probably not who you yeah, were picking up a on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I ruined the mood I there. I kept seeing like, like a white collared shirt. I don't know who the man you're picking up on. I also don't know the name of the man that everybody claims to see. He's usually in the lobby area and he wears a top hat, a nice tall top hat, well dressed. What my guess is, is he was a bank man. The guy that I was seeing and feeling worked here. He said that he worked here. Okay. Every, every, where we've walked around, he's kind of been there. Kind of followed you. Yeah. So it's like, he's very present in mm -hmm. this building. And then last but not least, I feel like we keep on meeting you in these weird basement <laughs> scenarios. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> but I do want to know what's going on in the basement. Some people say the basement is a little dark, a scary. Just re just a couple weeks ago, somebody had their phone fly across the room. Um, that was a, and that was a very negative feel about it. Like it was like slapped across the room. I don't know what we'll get. I don't, I don't have any real answers. Yeah. I, I think that this is super great to find out some real answers. I think this will be fun. <laughs> yeah. I find this to be pretty cool. <laughs> well, we're ready to put this place on the map, so let's head down to the okay, basement. Let's go there. The knocking you hear, we're hearing was over on this side down in the basement. Yeah. I've just been hearing a lot of banging since you guys have been here. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of banging, like more than normal. <laughs> yeah, they know. a lot more banging. Yeah, that's they know we're coming. Yeah, they do. The Mizpah Hotel that's literally right behind us right now. Yeah. Is there a tunnel that goes from the Mizpah yes. through yes. to the Belvada yes. Hotel? Okay, no, okay. Well, there was one to the Belvada, yes. Basically under our main street here, there's an open expanse. And in that open expanse um, is different tunnels that shoot off as well. It can connect to so many different locations throughout your town. Are the spirits over at the Mizpah possibly connected to the spirits here? In my opinion, they travel all around in different locations. Same with the cemetery by the clown. Right. So the cemetery down there, quite often people have picked up different things that said, oh, they were coming to the Mizpah. So, um, that happened to us at the Clan Motel. See, that did. So that they actually travel did. about, because they're still going about their old lives. Yeah. We were in the Clan Motel and we had a man come through on the spirit box and we said, where are you coming from? And it said the Mizpah. The Mizpah, clear as day. And said, why are you wow. here? And it said, I don't know. I don't know how much of this you guys have been seen or looked at. So this is one that was a bank. So this was probably the, the bars for the vault. So maybe this was an office and or whatever, but this was all. Oh, part that's of the vault. weird. Or whatever, but this was all. Oh, part that's of the weird. Vault. Did you hear that? No. I just heard like a yeah. Oh, really? did you? That's yeah. I, I don't know if my camera caught it, but it was right here. Just that's yeah. funny. <laughs> you guys are funny. Are you nervous? I like it. Yeah. Oh, I don't like it already. So usually when I'm using my app. Down here, it tells me, run. I feel sick to my stomach already. Like, it's it changed my mind. <laughs> She's like, I can't do I it. I can't go in there by myself. That's fitting. That is. That's fitting. This, yeah, the I guess the same gam thing. Yeah, the I gambling. The was yes. there a gambling down here? Uh, probably. It was, it was a was saloon a, at one point. It's going to be a speakeasy eventually, but, um. So maybe, but I mean, look over here. Oh, I heard that. But, um. So but I mean, look over here. I heard that. Did you hear that? No. Ooh. Yes. That deep man, like grumble. Oh boy. Oh, I feel sick to my stomach. Okay, I don't know how to turn the lights on. The lights aren't it's on. It's probably got something to do with that box, but I don't know how. So, the. That's the water from running upstairs. So that's normal. Mm -hmm. Huh? Are you okay, man? Dude, dude, shine your light over there. Dude, shine your light over there. What the? F what? I, dude, I'm gonna freak the f out. I just saw like a seven foot tall black figure figure standing there. I'm not even kidding. Behind the pink thing. The insulation. 
so I can't breathe. I'm not even. That's no, okay. I just take a oh. minute. Oh, I saw him. Are you saw, kidding? You saw him, right? Something just moved dark, big, over this way. Hold yes. on. Is there somebody down here with us? Cause. Cause. I don't. That was. That was weird. He was tall, and he was very, very dark, and he like looked just like. I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these motion sensor devices over back here. Physically, I'm having like full body reaction. Okay. I'm not gonna lie to you, this thing is like... Darker than dark. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying this to This thing you know. is Goldfield 2.0. Stop. I'm not, I can't, I feel so, I am having a full physical body reaction. Whenever I have a reaction like this, like physical, it means that I'm interacting with something that's not human. Oh, oh, Mandy. It said, um, it said big and then it said enemy and then it said malicious. I thought I heard somebody laugh too. You know how I said like Goldfield 2.0? Yeah. Um, it's that same type of energy that's been here. I mean, this building's been closed for a long time, but it's not as strong. Um, I don't think it liked you saying that. No. That gave me a weird feeling. Hello? Is somebody down here? Hello? I heard that one. That was nobody. There's Holy no. no. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, did you, you heard that, right? Yeah. She said that she just heard a laugh, then you went to go check, and then we heard a ha 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 coming from back here. Pick up, it, it's definitely pick up on the camera. No humans in this basement with us right now. Right, let's do an okay, interview session. Okay. I'm dying to hear what comes through. <gasps> I heard that too. There's a man here. Dude, I'm telling There's you, it's like... He's like, you don't need a digital recorder. You're hearing me with your own ears. That sounded like a hey, or even maybe like a jade. It was like a, I don't know. That was a man talking though, so thank you. Why are you... Okay, we gotta ask questions. Yeah. Right. Recording. Why are you hiding? Do you try to intentionally scare people here? Did I say something? So you just said, are you trying to intentionally scare something? Something said right over there, yeah. You heard yeah? I heard right back by here, by me. I heard yeah. Something's trying to intentionally scare us? And that's what it said yeah to. That's a, that's a response. And I'm telling that's you, a response. it was, yeah, when I was standing right there. Let's go and do an EVP session over there and see if we'll just follow it. I mean, I guess that's what we're going to have to do, right? Are you okay? Yeah, sorry. I'm just seeing, um, not behind me. <laughs> no, there's two. One is like non-human. And one is human. That's weird. 
Okay. Are you, what are you getting? I'm just hearing tapping over there. It was when you said that there's one non-human, I heard a tap. And then you said, and one human, and tap. And that was the last time I heard the tap, so... I yeah, think that it was a response. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I was wondering why I was so conflicted about... I Did you say yeah? I, I was so conflicted about... I Did you say yeah? I thought I heard that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But right. that wasn't how you... It literally how, it wasn't how you were just talking, though. No. You said, I feel conflicted. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Like, you would never have said I that. Heard it. I heard it too. But what I was going to say is that's why I'm so conflicted, because I've never experienced... Let me talk! <laughs> Damn it! Please! I've never experienced, in my entire life, non-human and human coexisting. Working together? And Do you think that they're working together? They are coexisting, and... The one that hides in here doesn't leave here. The other one, though, leaves. They're showing me, like, that this human spirit that coexists with this non-human spirit literally gives, like, it collects energy and then gives energy. What do you mean by that? The human mm. one gives energy to the non-human one. Oh, okay. So, yeah, okay. That hangs out down here. Okay. Okay. I'm with you. I'm following. Did you hear that tap? Yeah. That I, yeah. Recording. Are there two of you down here? Can the human spirit please step forward for a second? Can you please tell us your name? How long have you been down here? Why are you here? Were there any dark entities summoned here? Can you say one of our names? Stop in. Dude, I just audibly heard your name. I, I want to see if that like got picked loud. up. Okay. I don't believe it until it's been picked up. <laughs> I heard it. I was going to say, that was Maybe loud. Maybe you heard okay. it through your whispering eyes. <laughs> Sorry. It's scary down here. Okay. Okay. Because that sounded like, uh, like microphone interference, but not, not like, yeah. That's weird. I've never heard that before on we the recorder. I did hear that. Oh, hold on. Let me go no, back. Hold on. No, 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 no. Okay. Go. I can hear it from here, Mandy. Dude. I can literally hear it from where I'm standing. It sounds like a man. Saying Jade. If there's somebody over there, I want you to go up to one of the devices. That's the box that I put over here. On the insulation there. Can you go over there and can you light it up for me? Just touch the antenna. Whoever said my name, can you go over there? Okay, so if there's somebody in this room who is afraid to t walk in front of these devices or use these devices, it won't hurt you. Don't be afraid. Look, I'll show you what she wants. She wants you to go like this. Dude! Oh. This just said f bank and then memories. Oh, what? This fing said bank memories. Oh, Begin. Do you have yeah, good memories? 
Do you have bad memories? Can you tell us about those memories? Did you have a lot of money here? Hello? Can... Can you please knock again if that was you? Very loud and very clear for us. You one of the bankers here? <gasps> Two knocks? You are? As soon as it said begin, it knocked. It knocked. And it was like knocking right here. It really was. Peter. It said Peter. And to be present. Peter. Yeah. That's all it said is bank memories begin and then Peter. So I've left my camera down in the basement running, so hopefully we've captured something. Uh, we came up here to review the EVPs that we believe that we caught, so... With a speaker. With so. a speaker, so you can hear it. So let's go ahead and... Can you say one of our names? Stop it. Okay, did you hear what that just said? Did you hear what that just said? I heard your name. No, before that, I heard another voice right before Jade. No, I heard, I just heard Jade. I heard a mango, can you hear me? Stop. I sh Stop. you not, Stop. 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 I wonder if this is just like drowning it out because- I think it is. Can you hear me, Jade? That said, can you hear me, Jade? Yeah. Done. Done. I think that something does want to talk and that's made it very, very, very clear. So let's go ahead and okay. go back down to the basement. And we're not even going to know if anything was captured until I edit this. So <laughs> it's probably best that we don't actually know if anything's happened down there. So wish us luck. Wow. I go downstairs, the camera's probably toppled over. And... <laughs> Dude, no. Could you imagine? Why did you hesitate? <laughs> I don't know, I was trying to be kind. Okay, me and Mandy are gonna go back down to the basement. Heather is gonna stay up here. Heather did point out that there are actually vents here on the floor and this could possibly be going down to the basement. So Heather's gonna sit right here. She's gonna talk to herself. Yeah. Whilst we go down there, we're gonna recognize if it's Heather's voice just to debunk yeah. a lot of Yep. the voices that we possibly could have been hearing but same thing goes there was a lot of voices that and we like heard. i said i'm gonna talk and walk down this building here upstairs here so that you guys know the difference yeah and you can hear the difference because i know that the voices we weren't here we were hearing were not from up here but just to debunk any of the noises that you yeah hearing. okay let's just head down there um, this way <laughs> this way <laughs> you're doing great <laughs> okay <laughs> this is the second time we've come down here and I'm having that same physical reaction I didn't have it before mm -hmm. and as soon as I get down here I can feel it like just all right well my camera's We're still good. up we are good and to be present <gasps> entity 
Okay. So that's got to be her. Did you make that go off? Dude, that just went off. I am pretty close though. Okay, that definitely isn't us. Oh wow, my battery just like is almost dead. There is somebody in this basement that likes to talk apparently. So I have a spirit box here that you can come over, you can communicate through this box right here. It uses white noise and radio frequencies. You can pull specific words and actually talk to us directly. Now this spirit box is by Paranormic and this is one that we've never used before. So I'm hoping to get some pretty good results from it. The link for this spirit box is gonna be in the description below along with the other links to all the equipment that we've used today. Boy. I just heard my name. That was the first thing I heard. Seriously? I sh you not, Mandy. You know what I I hate that this is a reoccurring thing. <laughs> I don't like this. Are you here with us right now? Dude! I just saw Dude, I just saw like a white mist just are you here with us right now? Are you here with us right now? Like go across the, the, um, the, whatever that is, the, the pile. The pile? My camera was pointing that way. Oh my god. <gasps> oh sh I'm not making this up. And this is concrete floor as well, Mandy. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's exactly how you communicate with us, is by touching these, whoa. Your light just turned off. Oh my God. How did your light just I don't turn? Know. I don't know. I can't move. That was the craziest thing. You definitely saw something, that's for sure. Can you hear our voices? My wife's. My wife's? Or, I don't... Did you see... Sorry, you have to be really loud and really clear for us to hear you. Hey. I think that said your name. To be? What does that mean? Do you want us out the basement? Creepy voice. I know. I can't make out anything. I don't like it. <laughs> I feel like there's a weird energy shift and I yeah. can't explain it. Will you help me? Did you hear that? Trust me. Who are we talking to? Do you know who you are? It just appeared. Peter! It said Peter, and then it said camera, and then it said alone. Wait. What? Peter wants one of us down here with the camera alone? No. Or maybe Peter was down here alone with the camera, your camera that you left that's in true, here. That's true, that's true. Because Peter came through, Bank and Peter came through right before we left. And we just left it at that. That's crazy that it came through again. That's the only other, that's the only name that's come through. Peter, if that's you, we really want you to go over to one of the devices and make it go off so we can sit down and have like a real conversation with you. Meet. Meet. Like M-E-E-T. Like okay. Meet. It's nice to meet you, Peter. It's nice to meet you, Peter. Peter, do you know of any darker kind of presences down here? Think. Watch I out. Thought I, heard, I thought I heard something evil and then watch out. 
What should be watching? What? What should be watching out for? Help us here. Nothing. It's so weird though because it's like nothing but it's something, you know? Like yeah. there's energetically. Heather was talking about a man in a tall hat. Is that maybe Peter? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I have a I'm not I'm gonna be honest with you. I know people I, I haven't I haven't visually with my third eye seen anybody with the tall hat. Okay. Um, that's not to say that that doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. We all see different things. I just personally haven't seen okay, that. Okay, that's fine. Um, so I don't know. Okay, I say we get out of here. Okay. Because we still have other yeah. places to investigate. Yeah. Really want to really hone in on who Peter is because he's the one that I want to talk to most. I know that they say that lots of dark really creepy dark things happened in here we heard the voices i think someone was really trying to throw us off when we first came down here mm -hmm. but ultimately this peer character he was here when we left and he's here when we came back mm -hmm. um, thank you peter if you're here with us feel free to join us upstairs in the lobby okay Oh, fuck. I almost dropped this again. <laughs> Ow! Oh, shit. Are you okay? Ow, fuck, what the fuck? Dude. Oh, my... Oh, my God. My neck. Oh, my God. Oh, my no, God. get out of here. Oh, my God. No, my this way, Mandy. This way, oh, this way. God. This way. Oh, fucking God. Assault. Are you fucking kidding me? What? No, you stay... Please Jesus. stay back here. Oh. Mandy, let's... Oh up God. to the lobby. Up to the lobby. Oh my god, my fucking neck, the back dude. Of your neck? Oh, it burns, it burns, it burns. It burns, it burns, it burns. Okay, we'll get to the. And then it said attack or assault. Fuck. Oh, I'm gonna go outside for a sec. Oh, I need to put this stuff down in there. I need to go outside for a sec. There's nothing on me, right? Like, on, like... Mm, there's nothing there, right? I mean... No, not like a massive, it like... It hurts, it hurts, like... Wh point to where? Like right here. There's only what Fuck. I can see, it looks like a little red mark right there. It really hurts. It's like right here, I'm gonna touch you here. Yeah, it hurts. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what that was. Okay, I need to do some energy cleaning. Everything's on record because this is bit. With my Seer app on, the first thing it showed me on my Seer app. Whoa. Whoa. I got 
this picture. What even is that? I don't know, but there's like a face there. And we were talking about something not being human. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see a face like wrapped. As it came in... on, it's like swirled like this kind of, and then it came through. Okay. Which is almost fitting for that whole not human. Right now I can still feel it. Like it feels like my neck's on fire, just in this spot. Mm -hmm. And why do you think that something would do that to you? Because I called it out. And I said it wasn't strong. So. It's, that was the, that was it. That was it. Yeah. But it's not as strong. Um, I don't think it liked you saying that. No. That gave me a weird feeling. Mm -hmm. it says talk knit table. Talk necessary. What? We're literally sitting around the table. What's necessary? You were needed to be back. You needed to be here. You needed... It just feels Is like... Is my whole neck getting red? <gasps> Is like, my whole neck getting red? What the fuck was that? It was up and that way. Can you do that again for us, please? Are you the person that wants to talk? Peter, are you here with us right now? I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm starting to question Peter. You're starting to, I was, I didn't want to say anything, but I'm like. Well, I just don't want to accuse Peter if I he's actually either. a genuine spirit, but maybe he's taken on a another... I, d I don't know what's going on, but it was like there was something dark in there. There was definitely like weird stuff going on. And then this Peter character came through just as we were leaving. That's what I'm starting to... Peter, were you the one that hurt Mandy? While we were in the basement, I cleared all my stuff off of my app at one point when we were in the basement. There's three. I want one. No fucking way. I can show you on the... <laughs> that says, just gave me chills. It says, there's three. I want one. This is the time frame. <gasps> I didn't touch that. I also got watching you at one point, too. Mandy was the one that you wanted. Can you tell us why? Are you sure it's me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, it seemed like it wanted you there. Can you hear me, Jade? It is my job to know what's, like, to know and recognize what's going on. And I got... Fucking duped. And this said psychic. Did that just say psychic? The first picture that came up on that seer. <gasps> Again. Every time I show you this, is this something to do with that? Okay, so then it showed me this woman. I heard that voice. You heard that voice. It was yeah, a woman's voice. We all three Hold on, wait, that was a female voice. Where did yes. that come from? When I showed you that female picture. When you showed me the female picture. Yeah, that yeah. beautiful woman. We just heard somebody speak. We just heard your voice. No, that was weird, but for sure a woman's voice coming from the inside. Am I tripping? Huh, what is going neck getting like redder? Yeah. There's two big blotches right here. Mm -hmm. Dude, my whole neck is like mm -hmm. not having it right and now. And it's almost like the blotch that was like earlier that looks like it's kind of gone. That's what it looked like earlier, but like right here on the side of your neck, yeah. now that's gone. And now they're like no, two they're here. Fine. By the way, also just like another thing is when you said that um, um, I invited Peter up here with us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just He's gonna. Like, oh, Peter, if you're here with us, feel free to join us upstairs in the lobby, okay? Whatever that is, is still down there. That doesn't leave. Oh, shit. 
there's two skulls and two bodies and all the bones are like broken up. Yeah. I'm gonna go home and go to bed. Okay, yeah. I have to work early in the morning. You guys can hang out down here and in the vault. I think yeah. that they don't want you down in the basement alone. Heather just left and it's just me and Mandy right now. And we honestly have more questions than answers at this point. I think our biggest question is who is Peter? The basement is so chaotic. We're never going to get any real answers there. Mandy's still even a little bit frazzled, so I'm going to go ahead and do the S's method. We'll see who comes through. I do want to open the floor, though, to mm -hmm. other spirits that are here. Yeah. Because I feel like they deserve to have their voice heard, not those shitbags below, so... Okay, well, let's not Sorry. keep doing that, Mandy, <laughs> Jesus. The reason why we're doing it in the vault is I'm pretty sure that that woman's voice that we heard was coming from the vault. Malevolent rules. Rose? Yeah. Rose. Oh. Rose. Like rules from the Mizpah in the woman that we heard. Yeah. I'm gonna reset this. I've just reset this like three times. The lady in red. From the yeah. Rose, was that you that we heard? The female voice? I mean, Rose loved us when we investigated over at the Miss Pass, so it could just be Rose popping in saying, hey. Rose popping in saying, hey. It says me. Oh my God, I can't believe that it said me. I know that there's what a the lot fuck? of talking going on and this is very, very, very confusing. But remember that these two places, like everybody believes that these two places are linked and more places, not just the Mizpah. Um, last time we investigated the Mizpah, a couple months ago, Rose kept on coming through. We had no idea that the lady in red was named Rose until afterwards. So that's crazy. We heard a woman, Roses came through. I've asked, is that you, Rose? And it says me. That's good. Yeah, if anybody knows what's going on here, it's, it's gonna it's be her. Rose. <laughs> it's Rose. It's Rose. It will be her. <laughs> Get me from all the good angles. I got you. I just. What? I just heard titties. <laughs> Stop. I swear, I just heard titties. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. That's so, so funny. To in yeah. the woods. I like it. I like it. Me. She's ready. I think Rose is here. Okay. Rose, can you tell us why you came all this way? From the Mizpah? Calling. Who's calling? Oh, hi. Rose, stay with us. If you can, please. We didn't get to talk to you very much last time. I feel like you're connected to Jade, Rose. Is that true? Bombshell. Are you saying that she's a bombshell or that you are a bombshell? Ouch. Ah! Why are you saying that? Bruise. Did you have a bruise? Is that from when you were hurt? Monday. Hi. Who said my name? Man. Who? Who are we talking to? This turn. Okay, who are we talking to? Sit. You want me to sit? I'd actually prefer to stand, if that's okay with you. Who is this? Move. Move? Oh, I'm sorry. You want me to get out of the way? Where did Rose go? Do the spirits come? Jizz. Okay. F fucking funny. Oh. That was pretty funny, actually. <laughs> Can you tell me? Move. Again? What? I'm sorry. Look, here. Is that better? Whatever. Okay. <laughs> See? 
seat. Do you want me to take a seat? Okay. Seat. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I will sit down. I apologize. Is that better? I'm strong. Very. Oh, okay. Who am I talking to? Who is this? That's me. That's you. Yes. Hi. Hi. Okay, what is your name? Can I have your name? Me. Can we trust Peter? No stand. Stand? No. You asked me to sit, so I sat. Mandy. Oh my god. Are you mad at me? No. Okay. I really want to get answers to what's going on in this building. Fuck this. Okay. I really would like to get answers from somebody who wants to chat, who wants to share their story. Leave. Leave? You can you. leave. No. No. I Go paid. Ahead. Okay. I paid good money to be here, all right? Listen, I paid good money to be here. I feel like the good spirits don't even have a chance to talk. I'll be out. Are you gonna leave? I need you to back off, Jade. What the fuck, dude? Holy shit. Hol- Has that went off at all? No! Dude, it said I'm out, and then I just saw this burst of white light. It got really weird in here. You, you told me- who Peter was? No! Ugh. No! It doesn't sit right. Because if Peter was a genuinely nice, willing spirit, he would be willing to talk to us. Like, I just want to try one more thing in the lobby just to see if we can yeah. open it up. Whoa. Oh, it's like a magnet thing. That scared me. Did you know one fun fact about magnets <laughs> <laughs> is that they were created 600 BC. Mm. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on. Yeah. <gasps> oh, right, you said you were gonna turn it on. Is that jizz? It looks like semen. <laughs> it looks like semen. It actually does. <laughs> Possibly ectoplasm. <laughs> Not or, entirely yeah, sure. Yeah, like, okay. Okay, let's turn this on and see what's up. Yeah. Who's the most prominent spirit here in this entire hotel? Oh my god, Mandy, no, Mandy, no, Mandy, Stop. no, Mandy. What or what, it, what does it show? Just one oh, okay. man okay. standing there, like a shadow man. The most prominent. Oh, and that's spirit. what I saw downstairs. That's fucking creepy. Hi. Did that say my boss? Same voice over multiple sweeps. He showed us a picture of a large shadow man. Now, are you the one that's in the basement? Do you mind if we stand over by that table over there? Yeah, yeah. I just want to see if that changes anything. <gasps> Did you say table? Loud. That was loud. It sounds like a table. Let me out. Let me out. What do you need out from? Mandy. Said let me out, Mandy. Do you need to be crossed over? Yes. That says yes. Who is it, though? Who is it that needs to be crossed over? Do you have any, any battery life left? Yeah. Hotel. Hotel. How many people need help getting out? Seven. Seven. Can you tell me where in this building I can do that? Yes. Where? 
there's the shadow man, like the hallway. It kind of looks like this, um, just looks like a hallway in the hotel, Mandy. Yeah, um, I don't think that this thing in the basement wants you to cross ass. over anything. I know, I'm gonna get my ass kicked for it. I love crossing spirits over, and I love being able to help people, but I also, spirits also have to be able to help themselves, so, um, it's not my building. Yeah. And that's the problem. Totally. And it, it makes me so mad, but it's not my building. Yeah. That's something that, like, morally, yeah. ethically, I have to think about, too, when I do these things, like, I only ever cross over in locations that I have permission to do that in the building. There are a lot of locations that we investigate and, and sometimes, honestly, their rule is you cannot cross over spirits. So it would be so unprofessional of us to just go ahead and just and do something like that. At minimal, I can at least do energy work. I think it's just time to wrap up at this point. The staff at the Bolvada Hotel and also Heather have both been absolutely amazing to us. So we totally, totally need to respect that. This place seriously is no joke. You got scratched a few times tonight. Your neck is freaking swollen. Like, and we have to stay here for another two nights. Yeah. This, is, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> I really don't want to. Okay, well, this has been absolutely insane. I think it's pretty fair to say that the spirits from the Mizpa across the street are definitely popping in and out to the Balvada Hotel, um, along with some other just weird spirits that we've never encountered before. I did not think that it was going to be this dark. It is. Whether we come back or not, I'm sure we will, but for now it's the end of our investigation thank god good night guys we love you please remember to like comment subscribe everything that you do for us and and helping us out and getting us to where we need to be this is the reason why we're here i'm rambling i'm freaking tired we just love you good night <laughs> Thanks for sticking around to the end of this episode. We have so many thoughts about the Belvada Hotel that we're actually gonna touch on on the next episode when we return to the Goldfield Hotel. So stick around for that. I appreciate you guys. Have a great night.